Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Math with Mrs. Jackson. Um, today we are going to be doing chapter 4, lesson 3, count on to add within 20. And the first thing we need to do is write our name and date. So if your name is Itziel, you write Itziel. If your name is Abigail, you write Abigail. If your name is um, Hayden, you write Hayden. But my name is Mrs. Jackson, so I'm going to write Mrs. Jackson. And my date is 5-12-20. All right, model the story. There are eight coins in the piggy bank. You put in five more. How many coins are in the bank now? So we need to start at eight and jump five more. One, two, three, four, five. So we have 13 coins, 13 coins. So you could do it that way or you could do it like this. So we have eight, one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight coins in my piggy bank. And then I put in five more. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen coins. Thirteen coins. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and clear our board and move forward. Think and grow one way. Start at seven, count on nine. So we have seven plus nine. So we start at seven and we count up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And our answer is 16, 16. Okay, another way, start at nine and count on seven. So we start at nine and add seven more. Nine, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our answer is still 16. The order of the add-ins changes, but the sum stays the same. Add in, add in sum. Add in, add in sum. All right. So number one, we have eight and four more. So we start at eight and count up four. One, two, three, four. And we end at 12. So our whole is 12. All right. I want you to show me for number two. Okay. Push pause and push play when you're ready. Okay. Now, when you are doing this one, you have only one line. So you might want to um, draw lightly so that you can reuse your line. Okay. So you have six plus eight. So go to six and we add eight. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My hole is 14. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll erase it because I drew it lightly enough that I can reuse my number line. Okay, that's what you're going to do for four, five, and six. Oh, seven and eight as well, okay. All right, now let's go to number nine. Oh, and again, always pause as needed and push play when you are ready. Write the equation shown by the number line. Then write the equation another way. Okay, so we have four, I mean, excuse me, we have seven. Seven is one part. And one, two, three, four. Ah, plus four. 
So we jumped four times, and that equals 11. Add in, add in, whole, or add in, add in, sum. And you're going to switch your add ins and have the same sum. So you can do that part of this <clears throat> number nine. Think and grow. Modeling real life. You have seven train cars. Newton has five more than you. Descartes has four more than you. Who has more train cars, Newton or Descartes? Okay, so we know we have seven and Newton has five more. So seven plus five equals. Hmm. And Descartes has seven plus four equals. All right, so now let's go ahead and do our number line. So seven is our start, and we're going to do plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Seven plus five is twelve. If 7 plus 5 is 12, we know 7 plus 4 is 1 less because 5 is 1 more than 4. So 1 less than 12 is 11. Who has more, Newton with 12 or Descartes with 11? Correct, Newton. Newton has 1 more than Descartes. Number 6, I'm sorry, number 10. It says six right there. That's where I got that number. You have six comic books. Newton has five more than you. Descartes has six more than you. Who has more comic books, Newton or Descartes? So on this one, I'm going to help you write your equations, but I want you to figure out your wholes or your sums, and I want you to figure out who has more. Newton or Descartes. So we know that we have six comic books and Newton has five more. So six plus five equals right here. Okay. And Descartes has, or we have six and Descartes has six more. Ooh, look, a double. Okay. Now you're going to figure out who has more. Newton or Descartes? And I also want to see you use your number line to help you figure this out. Okay? All right. And we're going to move on. So again, push pause as you need to and push play when you're done. Practice. So our model is 4 plus 9. So we started at 4 and we go up 9, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine. Four and nine more is 13. Okay, you're gonna do the same for one, two, three, and number four. All you need to do is write lightly on your number line and erase as needed, or you can draw more number lines, okay? All right, so push pause and then push play when you're ready to continue on. We are on the last page of math for today. Write an equation shown by the number line. Then write an equation, write the equation another way. Okay, so we have five as our starting point. So five is one of our add-ins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, five plus eight. Because we jumped eight times. And that equals 13. Remember, your add-ins can change, but your sum will stay the same. And what I mean by change is they can change spots. Okay? So you do this part. Modeling real life. You have 11 toys. Newton has three more than you. 
Descartes has six more than you. Who has more toys, Newton or Descartes? So, we know Newton has 11 plus three more, and Descartes has 11 plus six more. I want you to figure out these equations. So figure out your sum using your number line and circle the name that has the more, the most toys. Does Newton have the most or does Descartes have the most? Review and refresh. Circle the triangle. Draw a tr rectangle around the hexagon. Oh, you know what? You might not be able to see it. Let me make sure you can see. Some of these shapes are not showing up very well. Okay. All right. So, again, I'm going to say it. Circle the triangle and draw a rectangle around the hexagon for number seven. And number eight, circle the cube and draw a tr rectangle around the sphere. Circle the cube and draw a rectangle around the sphere. Okay? All right, boys and girls, I love you.